Hello everyone, my name is Ricardo Martinez and I am part of the team that developed this Pinecrest People Mover application. Um, in this video we'll be talking about the shortcomings and hopefully uh, the, wish list, the wish list which will be the new functionalities that can be implemented to make this application um, more successful. Um, so some of the shortcomings we were, able, we were faced was the estimated time. Now the estimated functionality itself the calculation is working properly. At the moment, the location is being stored here at this stop, so when you click it, you'll be able to show the estimated time. So this functionality is working properly in the sense that it's calculating you know, the distance and showing you what, how much time it is by using the distance and the speed of the actual trolley. However, if you were to click a different stop that's outside of the route, it also produces an estimated time. So we weren't able to, being able to uh, differentiate what route the current, the current trolley is on, the, the trolley is currently on. So um, that causes issues in the sense if it's on the high school north route, there shouldn't be an estimated time for the middle school south, south side. Another shortcoming we encountered is, was the actual alarms, the email notifications uh, sent to the user which is um, set by a certain time by the user and determining on the estimated time once the estimated time has matched that alert notification time it sends an email to them since the estimated time isn't fully functional as a sense to the actual um, correlation to the routes we had set the alarm uh, email notification at a random time so once the estimated time will be able to be fixed, the alarm notifications will be working properly. Another shortcoming we, we were encountered was, so if you click on this, it shows you near me, which is great. But if you click on another route, it shows you another marker. And if you continue to do this, it will show you now all four of them. So this is an issue that we weren't able to uh, resolve we would have liked to be able to, once you click on another route, to remove the previous marker you had selected and just to show the one that you were previously, the, currently asking for. So that sums it up for our shortcomings. Um, some of the wish, some of the items for the wish list we would like to add happens to, do, happens to deal more with the actual uh, admin side. So right now, all this information is being stored in the database, and the admin cannot access it unless actually going into the database and making the changes there. So we want to be able to make it a little easier. Um, we feel that it would be very important to create some sort of web application or, or a web dashboard that will allow the user to, I mean, the admin to manipulate data. Um, the admin should be able to add, edit, or delete stops and as along with stops to be able to add, edit, and delete waypoints since waypoints are the necessary uh, items to be able to show the routes. Um, in this dashboard, there should also be some sort of functionality where the admin can edit the properties files uh, from the back end as opposed to just actually going to the file and looking through the code and being able to manually do it there. And it would be also great to add some sort of index where a user will be able to deselect and select the different routes. So, for example, if my priority is to know what is the Palmetto North, uh, Palmetto High School North route, I can deselect all the other routes just to only show the Palmetto uh, High School North route. And uh, that pretty much sums it all for our wish list as well. We hope that the new team that will be able to continue this project will be able to meet those functionalities because we feel that those functionalities will be able to make this application uh, more complete and definitely would be very useful to the residents of Pinecrest. Thank you.